Well, I've been living with a disease called cystinosis. There's only about like 2,000 people in the world that have it. And it affects the whole body, all like your organs, your eyes, muscles, everything. Yeah, I was diagnosed at eight months old and basically been living with it my whole life. So cystinosis is due to a genetic defect uh, that leads to the abnormal accumulation of cystine in all the cells of the body. So progressively the organs start to uh, be injured and eventually they will uh, fail. And because of that, the patient require kidney transplantation. Uh, they can have blindness, muscle weakness, diabetes. I mean, so many um, complications with time occur. So I started this project uh, in 2017. Um, so my goal was always to do a gene therapy. So when we found the gene, we realized that it was expressed everywhere, in every single cell. And it was not a protein that was secreted, so it was even more complicated for gene therapy. To be able to bring a healthy gene to every single tissue in the body, I was thinking that the only solution to do that is to use our bone marrow stem cells. So what we do is what we gene correct the cells in a dish. Then once they, when they are gene corrected, we transplant them back to the patient. came back September 21st and then got admitted into the Jacobs Center and I was there for about a month and then they, they introduced their new cells on October 7th and now it's just a waiting game to see if it's working. When we opened this clinical trial, he um, responded and volunteered and uh, quickly expressed a lot of interest and he has been very intelligent and, and um, very rational about all this process, understanding everything, understanding the risk. And so being the first is, you know, uh, the most scary uh, part because you don't know what you, will, you are going to go through. You don't even know if you will have any benefits of that. So I think uh, it's, it's very brave. It was so nice to be able to talk to him in a, scientific way or so to try to understand how we could improve things, how we could do things differently. So it has been a very a great uh, learning curve for both of us. Well, it gives, me a, it gives me hope, right? It gives me a chance for a cure. And basically, I remember before we started the trial, my mom kind of explained it. She's like, we have a tsunami in the back and a tornado in the front. And if I don't do the trial, I'll, um, when I'm, I don't know how old, 40, 50 years old, who no knows how healthy I'll be, right? I might not be strong, might not be able to do my job. And if I do the trial, yeah, there's consequences like mucositis, the chemo, all that stuff. But if it works, I could live another 20 years, I'm supposed to, and be healthy for the rest of my life. So.